Oh, hi guys. So, um, yeah, it's not going to be an interesting day today, I think. Um, as I was saying on the intro video I did, um, basically, I would suggest that anybody learning to repair electronics does it on uh, the basis of trying to fix a second hand kit. Basically, go out and buy something. I go to the car boot sale or flea market, as you might call it. Uh, occasionally online and I'm buying electronic uh, items and basically trying to fix them. Um, this can be uh, sometimes profitable, sometimes you uh, you might fix something and make a, a decent profit from it, uh, but it can certainly will help you to learn how to do this sort of repair. And the best thing when you buy uh, equipment like this, this kind of buy to fix to sell, uh, market is that you're not really under any pressure so it's not like you have uh, something from a customer that's brought it to you or a mate who's brought it to you and you get all the hassle is it fixed yet is it ready yet is it ready yet you can do this at your own leisure and really that is the way I would suggest anybody uh, interested in learning electronics repair goes about it um, so as I mentioned uh, before I tend to fix small items I don't have space in the workshop here uh, to fix TVs and big items like that. Um, mainly, I'm interested in repairing computers, uh, particularly desktop computer motherboards, um, graphics cards. I occasionally do a few laptop repairs. Those tend to be the ones where people are bringing stuff in. Uh, and I do do some uh, paid repair work, obviously. Uh, but this sort of thing I'm doing here, I just do this in spare time. So this, this is me uh, when I've got some spare time in the workshop. Uh, trying to fix stuff and to be quite honest still learning um, I've been repairing electronics for decades but to be quite honest uh, repairing computer hardware mm, a couple of years I would say I've been been doing this and again on a part-time basis in my spare time so it, it takes time to learn but the more you repair the more you learn so anyway this here I have a graphics card that I picked this up at the flea market uh, last Sunday uh, it's an NVIDIA uh, GTX 2080 and I got this uh, from the guy for um, all of 10 euros. Um, I have no idea if this is working or not. I've bought stuff off this uh, trader at the, at the car boot quite a number of times. I would say, generally speaking, 50-50, it works or it doesn't work or it kind of works uh, to, to a point. So... We have this one, a uh, graphics card. And the first thing I would do with something like this is suggest that you have a good look at it. So uh, we can see with this that the, the fan looks fairly clean. Uh, the item itself looks pretty good. Uh, I can see straight away there on these, uh, I assume these are SLI connectors or something like that. I can see straight away on there that we have a lot of green corrosion, I'm guessing. And looking here at the PCI connector, there seems to be a little like it's taken a knock here. Uh, there seems to be some sort of damage here, although it, it's physically intact. Yeah, but maybe this has been kicking around in a box full of stuff and rattling about and getting knocked about. So let's see if we can fix it. Um, the first thing I'll do with this, anything like this, I have two choices really. Let's face it. You can either take a computer and you can plug this in. And see what happens or you can take the part and have a look at it first um, what I would suggest here if you're thinking which way do I go imagine this you just found a, a second-hand car that hasn't been run for 10 years it was in a garage just been sitting there for 10 years what are you gonna do are you gonna <laughs> put some charge of the battery and switch it on or you're gonna at least have a look if there's some oil and water in it first I mean surely the answer is yeah have a look to see what condition this thing's in before you try and switch it on so that's what I'm going to do with this board. Uh, this video, and really I think all the videos I'm going to try and do are unedited. I, okay, you may want to skip through a little bit to this. Uh, may take longer than you think, but this is this is me, an item I've not seen before. This is completely unedited. So first thing I'm going to do is try and dismantle this and see see what I actually have here. Uh, that screwdriver doesn't fit too well, but yeah. <laughs> First challenge is finding the screwdriver that actually fits the screws. Yeah, this one seems to be the better one. 
Oh, actually these things have yeah, they look like a spring loaded thing here. Yeah, here we go. Uh, what I do suggest by the way, and I'm gonna get one with this, if you're doing this sort of thing, the, the, the first thing you, the first thing you really need is a, a little plastic box. Something to put the screws in. I know it sounds basic, but you know if you leave these things on the bench, let's face it. They're going to get knocked around, something's going to fall off, get lost. You can't figure you know, you'll waste time figuring out where did it go. So just keep yourself tidy, find something, put the screws in. It's, it's, it's such a simple thing. And yet, okay, sometimes I make the mistake, you don't do it, and then you start losing bits and bobs. So. Let's see what we have here. Well, they're all coming out. Taking a bit of time, but we'll get there. Just a few more, and then we'll see if we can crack this thing open. Mm. Okay, last one, and then we can see what we have. We get into this thing. Uh, it looks like it's uh, held together with some sort of plastic clips or something here. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, the back should be. In the end, here there's like two little rubber things here. It's not unusual to find something like that actually has uh, a hidden uh, screw underneath it. So I'm just going to try and try and take these out of here and see see what's behind them. No, nothing behind that one. No, nothing there. So I think this thing has been. Oh no, I no nothing there. Okay, so this thing has been held together by plastic clips. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, we'll find a little tool. Uh, this thing, uh, I believe it's called a spudger, uh, a word i never heard of until I found some of these things on eBay. It's very useful for uh, unclipping these sort of things. Something at this end, just holding this together. Uh, what I'll do uh, at, at a later uh, date, I'll, uh, if people like these videos, I'm very, very happy to do more. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time. And finally decided I have some time to actually do it. Um, so obviously at the moment, you may even gather that I'm actually uh, videoing this on the mobile phone. I'm using very basic equipment. Uh, but if people like the videos, then I'm more than happy to get some better recording equipment. And uh, we can try some different camera angles. I'm, I'm just loosening these because uh, something's holding this together at this end, and I'm, I'm not really quite sure exactly what it is. I'm seeing whether just removing these helps to release the cover in any way. Probably not, but no harm in trying. Right. Oops. What was holding this together? I doubt there's any screws underneath this. Got to be 
something here that's uh, just keeping this in one piece. Now, all, all this is, is plastic, that was all free. Ah, uh, yeah, I think probably uh, in here, this this is uh, something that's holding this. Let's see if we can get into this bit. No, uh, Now this this end seems to be free as well. It's just appears to be something at this end that's holding this together. <laughs> After all that, it was basically just a. Uh, little plastic clip here uh, but this is what you're going to find you know you're going to be looking at stuff like this you've probably never seen the item before so you know the fact you're going to spend five or ten minutes just figuring out how to get into something that this is just the way it's going to be okay there's a couple of screws here um it looks like oh yeah i, th I think what it says the other the other screws i already removed yeah, that uh, did they go through there? Yeah, so the other screws I've already removed were going through this board. So it looks like now the only thing holding the board on is the two two remaining screws here, which are not uh, not visible from, from from the top outside. Okay, so put that out of the way, and we'll take these out. And let's see what we have in here. I can see here that basically these won't come out. I have to take this bracket off as well. So now you can see an actual fact uh, because I re removed the two uh, mounts off the uh, the DVI connectors. I would have had to do it anyway. So it's just uh, one, two. Okay. Ah, and and it falls off. Okay, so it's just uh, the connector for the fan here, which is holding us together. It looks like we can see how this clips in. There's probably some little catch or clip or something holding this in place. You have to push on or pull uh, to, to release it. I have here, you'll probably see this. Maybe you can just see that in the view actually. So.